That's Carlos Santana performing Tito Puente. Yes, Carlos Santana will be performing this week at the celebration of Dolores Huerta's 80th birthday. The legendary activist Dolores Huerta, who co-founded the United Farm Workers of America with Cesar Chavez, celebrating 80 years, a veteran of the labor, civil rights, immigrant rights and feminist movements in the country. Dolores Huerta was instrumental in passing the Seasonal Agricultural Workers Bill, which resulted in the legalization of 1.3 million farm workers as part of the Immigration Reform Act of 1986. Well, to celebrate her 80th birthday, this lifelong activist is holding a benefit concert at the Greek Theater in Los Angeles Friday night titled Weaving Movements Together. As the name suggests, the event aims to bring together immigrant rights, LGBT, feminist, environmental and labor activists. Dolores Huerta is joining us now from Los Angeles. We welcome you. You and happy birthday, Dolores Huerta. Thank you, Amy. Can you talk about what you consider your greatest achievement? Uh, well, uh, I think you mentioned the uh, legalization bill of 1986, which really uh, helped a lot of people get the legal status, as has, as you know, every immigrant that's come to this country has acquired legal status at one time or the other. Uh, then, of course, I think uh, many, many uh, pieces of legislation, uh, getting the ballots in the Spanish language for people to vote, uh, taking away citizenship requirements so that people could get public assistance, uh, and on and on, you know, uh, forming the Farmer Union with Cesar Chavez, and now uh, forming my own organization, the Dolores Huerta Foundation for Community Organizing. And uh, when we look back and see how many people have been organized, how many, uh, you know, we've built a volunteer base and uh, laws that have been passed, and, you know, but this is the kind of work that I want to continue continue to do uh, for the rest of whatever life I have left, and this is why I started this foundation. And I want to mention this whole idea of, of bringing movements together is important, because it seems like each one of our movements has a different path. You know, we have our Greens over here, Labor over here, the feminists, the LGBT movement. And I, I believe that in order to really get the progressive agenda that we are all looking for and searching for, that we've got to come together and, and, and you know, kind of unite our forces. Uh, we are, uh, you know, we are the majority in, in this country, uh, but if we don't come together, uh, well, then we're not going to be able to win our progressive agenda. Dolores Huerta, go back in time, go back to the early 1960s, and talk about how you got involved with the farm workers movement and helped found the United Farm Workers. What were the conditions then? Where did you come from? Well, actually, I had a very um, comfortable life. I am sort of a middle-class background, but after joining uh, an organization called the Community Service Organization, and this is where I met Cesar, uh, then uh, we saw the conditions of the farm workers uh, that were so desperate at that point in time that then uh, that's when we started the United Farm Workers uh, of America. And, um, you know, we worked together for many years until Cesar passed away. Uh, I left the union about six years ago. Um, and things for the farm workers, you know, are somewhat better in California, although many, most of the farm workers right now are not covered by union contracts. And in uh, other states, of course, things are even worse because many farm workers, they don't have unemployment insurance. Um, they have a very poor workers' compensation, if they have any at all. And uh, uh, they don't have disability insurance. Uh, we were able to get the laws passed that gave all farm workers uh, uh, cold drinking water and and uh, toilets in the fields, uh, rest periods, uh, things of that nature. But uh, there's still a long way to go for the farm workers. But uh, with my organization, actually, we go into the communities and we organize our immigrant population primarily. But this, of course, could apply to anyone. And we uh, basically raise money to hire and train organizers. Uh, then when the people come together, then uh, they can make a lot of changes. And, and some of the changes are absolutely miraculous. We've, uh, some of our people have been able to get swimming pools in, uh, in, in their com uh, communities. We have one committee that actually had a gymnasium built uh, at their middle school. Uh, you know, we've, we've got one another committee that's getting uh, a, a sewer drains for 27 homes that didn't have any kind of a sewer drain. And we have a youth group. We're doing uh, teen pregnancy prevention programs, financial literacy, the first micro-lending program for farm workers in the Central Valley of California. And the great thing about this is that the, the people are doing this themselves. On the census, we knocked on 3,000 doors in one day. And then, of course, we had to do a lot of pressure on our Blue Dog uh, uh, Congress people to get them to vote for the health care bill uh, that we were trying to get passed uh, recently. 
Dolores Huerta, so many of the people you work with are immigrants, and the battle over immigration reform, immigrants in this country, is raging. Um, just some figures uh, uh, on the number of deportations, uh, according to figures from the Immigration Enforcement Agency, ICE. The Obama administration accelerated the pace of deportations overall. In 2009, authorities deported close to 390,000 people, uh, which was 20,000 more than in 2008, the final year of the Bush administration. Your comments? Well, uh, we know that uh, this is uh, the big issue in the Latino community, I guess the number one issue at this point in time, and that it really means that we've really got to push to get immigration reform. Uh, um, unfortunately, I mean, you, you, I heard your report about the elections, and we still have a very large anti-immigrant caucus uh, in, in the U.S. Congress. And, uh, you know, we've got to focus on, on these Congress people and on the elections and take some of these people out of office. In California, we have the head of the anti-immigrant caucus, a Congress run a Republican named Bill Bray. And uh, these, these are the people that we've got to get out, and we've got to get good people elected. And my fear is that so many people are so disillusioned uh, with, uh, with what's going on right now that they're not going to vote in November. And I think that's going to be just a huge